Hi, my name is Nick. I'm with LED Inspirations, and this morning I thought we'd shoot a short video on how an LED is made. Oftentimes we call this the LED, but really this is just a plastic package that holds the small LED chip. Manufacturing starts with this. This is called the blue dye. This blue dye, this wafer, has about 11,000 LED chips on it. The machine behind me assembles the LED chip into the plastic package. This is a tray of about 300 plastic packages. Let's take a look at what the machine does. What you're seeing in the middle is the blue dye wafer, and then there's two arms rapidly moving the LED chip into the plastic package. After the LED chip is placed in the package, it's then soldered into place. That's what the machine behind me is doing right now. One of the things that makes a quality LED is using quality thread to solder it in place. We use 99.9% .9 pure gold to solder it in place to make an extra good connection. Come take a look at what the machine is doing. This is a really important part of the LED process. This is where the phosphor is mixed that goes on top of the LED. We start with the blue dye wafer, which is a blue chip, and then we put phosphor on top, that's what turns it white. This is what phosphor looks like. The phosphor is mixed with silicone, and that recipe depends on what color we're trying to make, whether it's 2700K or 4000K. Once it's mixed up, it goes into the machine. These are the tubes that hold the phosphor, and the machine is placing the phosphor into the LED package on top of the LED chip. After the phosphor is placed on the LED package, it's placed in these ovens where it's baked on. Not only does it coat the LED with the proper color, but it also protects the LED from the environments. Welcome to the LED binning process. This is the most critical part of the entire LED manufacturing process. This is where the quality is determined of an LED. Especially in a linear LED product like ours, this is critical. When you have an LED replacement bulb with a cluster of LEDs, if you have one LED that's a little shade off of color, it will average together. But in a linear lighting product, it is critical that every LED be spot on. When you're lighting up a cove with a linear product, say against a white ceiling, if you have an LED that doesn't have perfect color, it will immediately show itself. The machine behind me is sorting all the LEDs according to the shades of white. This is how it works. The LEDs are loaded in here. This is after the, the phosphor has been baked on. They're broken out of the LED tray and they're placed in here. They go into the roulette wheel where it spins and it lines them up so that they can be lit up inside the machine. Behind this door is the heart and soul of the whole machine. This is a spectroradiometer. Every time you see a flash of light, it's lighting the LED up. It's measuring both the lumen output and the color. As it measures the color, it's thrust down one of these tubes into the bins. When we talk about binning, that's where the magic happens. This is the chart of all the LEDs being binning right now, and each one of these squares corresponds to a bin in the bottom of the machine. Let me show you that. I'm gonna stop the machine, and this is where it happens. When you talk about binning, this is really what they're referring to. Each one of these bins is a different shade of white. You can make a cheap LED product by using many bins, but you'll have many different shades of white, but it's cheaper because you get to use a lot more of the LEDs. When we talk about LED Inspirations being a one bin company, we're only using one bins for our LEDs. This is all one shade of white without using any of the others. This is what makes a quality product. At the end of the day, when you do your project, you want to know that it's going to look perfect today, tomorrow, if they do an addition two years from now and you buy more product from us, you want to know the color is consistent. This is how we do it. This is the next part of the process. We apply solder paste onto the printed circuit board. This is one of our printed circuit boards. It actually has 16 strips in it. The machine behind me works just like a t-shirt printing machine. 
um, which is a silk screen process, except for instead of silk screening ink on, we use solder paste. The, the board is loaded into the bottom of the machine and the solder is squeezed through the top of the silk screen onto the board. With the solder paste applied to the board, the next step is to assemble the components on there. Those components are on these reels here, LEDs, resistors, and other components required. What this machine does, it assembles them off the reel onto the board. Take a look. Once the components are assembled onto the circuit board, the final process is going into this machine right here. This is a reflow machine. The reflow machine is nothing more than a big oven with multiple chambers. In the beginning chambers, it slowly warms the circuit board up and components. And then when it gets about here, right in the middle, it spikes the temperature, melting all the solder. In the final chambers, it then cools down and it comes out this end of the machine right here. In the final process, the boards are then split apart and soldered together into lengths and then run into the reels and that's the whole manufacturing process. At LED Inspirations, we've designed our products from the circuit board up. We wanted to step you through the manufacturing process not just to educate you on how an LED is made, but also to show you that we get to control every step of the process ensuring the quality of our products. We want you to know that you can specify our products knowing that your project will turn out beautiful and perfect every time. Thanks for watching.